guys. Thanks for joining me. My name is Amanda Hauser and I am the Emotion Coach. And I am here to talk to you real fast today about how to use one of doTERRA's new essential oils called Yarrow Palm. So if you are in doTERRA or you have anyone close to you in doTERRA, you've likely heard about Yarrow Palm and all of its amazing benefits. We are talking anywhere from skin to cardiovascular to metabolism. There are just so, I mean, the list is long of all of the benefits of Yarrow Palm. People have been experiencing some amazing results using this. One of the results is emotional healing. So on an emotional level, Yarrow Palm is the oil of purging or relieving. So when we start talking about the emotional part or the emotional component of Yarrow Palm, we start thinking in terms of processing old habits, or I'm sorry, old things, old traumas, old... Um, emotions that we just haven't really maybe dealt with. We've just kind of pushed them down. So Yarrow is going to help process through those emotions. And so a lot of people are a little bit nervous about that because it can really start to bring up some old feelings. We can be a little more emotionally um, drained, if you will. And people are afraid to use it because of that. So we've got two different approaches that have been floating around. One, either use Yarrow at a time in your life when you feel like you can handle the emotions. Or two, back off the dosage. So I am actually going to like totally scooch those out of the way a little bit because there is an easier way to deal with those things that come up. So for me, when I started using Yarrow Palm, I had a lot of things that I thought I had disconnected from, a lot of emotions and some past hurts that I thought like I had just processed through and had been done with because I've been doing a lot of my own healing over the last two or three years, um, really trying to get to the root cause of some of the things that I had been going through. Depression runs in my family and so I wanted to be able to head those things off at the pass. I lost my dad suddenly six years ago. That I wanted to head off at the past. So I've been doing on my own energy healing for the last few years. So when these things started coming up, I was like, hey, like this doesn't make any sense to me because I thought I was done. And on a physical aspect, because when we are experiencing things emotionally, there's a lot of times where our body can manifest it physically. So my legs were hurting and I couldn't figure out what was going on with my legs hurting the way that they were hurting. And it wasn't like a debilitating pain. It was just they were aching. And so I looked up what the emotional link in my legs is compared to something that I was dealing with emotionally or in my life. And all of the things that it had talked about or that it was compared to or linked to made sense. It made sense for what was bothering me. It made sense for what was coming up emotionally for me. And so there I had like a, a grounding point to, to start working from. So I have been teaching tapping for a few years now and tapping is a really simple process that anybody can do and it's using the energy points in your body and starting to move that stagnant energy. So when we use tapping and we use essential oils together, the really cool part is, is that you don't have to experience the pain for a very long time. So a part of the process is actually being able to just observe what's happening and process through it instead of becoming a participant in the pain again. So instead of going in and, and being the victim again or going through the whole process mentally again, you don't have to do that. With Yarrow Palm and with tapping together and all of, I mean, we've got a ton of emotional support as far as essential oils is concerned. But when we use these together, we can process through faster, we can disconnect from the emotion and heal from it. So the really cool part about tapping is once you disconnect from the emotion and you've healed from it and you've processed through it, you literally never have to deal with it again. So when we talk about tapping, sometimes we just, we don't know what's going on. We just know that we're in pain. We know that we're depressed. We know that we're sad or frustrated or angry but we don't really know why. Tapping is gonna be one of those things that can certainly help us get answers. So tapping's like peeling away layers of an onion. So we could be tapping on something that we're feeling and it could have something to do with something that happened 20 years ago. And so we gradually start peeling away those layers of an onion. I have a tapping video on my YouTube 
that just explains how to do tapping, the basics of tapping, why tapping works. So check that out. But it's really important to know that like there's no level of believability that needs to happen in order to use tapping. Even if you don't believe it, if you do it, it will work. That's the really crazy part about tapping is sometimes there's like a level of believability that needs to happen. So um, and we're doing energy healing, like being open to receiving the energy and that kind of thing. There's like, there needs to be that level of believability that happens in order for us to really get the full benefits. But with tapping, that's not, that's not the case. Like as long as you actually do the tapping, it will work. That's the most beautiful part about it. So tapping is a very simple process. I'm going to just go through it real here, real quick here with you. And then I'm going to give you an example of a tapping script and then I'm going to allow you to explore what that looks like for yourself. So with Yarrow Palm, I use this twice a day. I use two drops twice a day. I've had amazing benefits as far as weight loss. I've had amazing uh, different support in the way of skin stuff that was going on and um, just feeling better, feeling energy. Like I feel like I can sleep better at night. I feel like I'm getting up easier in the morning. So those are all really great benefits. But also on the emotional side, I've had some amazing results using yarrow and uh, tapping. So tapping is just a series of points, tapping on a series of points on your body that helps release the energy. When we're doing tapping, we acknowledge what it is that's going on. So if we don't know exactly what it is that's bothering us, we can simply tap on feeling sad. We can tap on feeling upset or frustrated. When we know what the problem is, we can actually tap on that. And the more specific you can get, like who was involved, what was said, what's bothering you, where you're feeling it in your body, those are all great things to really um, get clear on and really tap through those. The more specific you can get, the better. But sometimes that's not the case. So we can literally just tap on the fact that we're really upset and we have no idea why. So when we do that, a lot of people are like, well, hey, I don't want to, ex- I don't want to like call the negative into my life. That's not what's going to happen with tapping. So I heard a quote once that you cannot clean the house blindfolded, right? So we have to acknowledge the dirt before we can clean the dirt. So acknowledging what's going on is the only way to process it. The only way is to acknowledge it, process through it, and move forward from it. Then you can tap in some positive things things feeling like um, you're safe now and things are good and things are looking better every day, whatever that affirmation looks like for you. Really easy. On our karate chop point, we're going to do a setup statement three different times. We're going to do a setup statement. It can be the same thing. So if we're really super frustrated, it's going to be acknowledging what's wrong, right? So even though I'm really frustrated right now, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I'm super frustrated right now, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I'm so frustrated, I deeply love and accept myself. Three times and saying that you love yourself and accept yourself or even just that you accept yourself signals to your body that you will love it no matter where you are in your life. And we don't do that enough. We don't give ourselves the permission to really love and accept ourselves right where we are enough. So that part is pretty critical. Then you're going to go through and you're going to tap very lightly. You can do either both sides, one side or the other side. Doesn't matter because it mirrors each other. So you can just keep saying, I'm really frustrated. And then you're going to go to your eyebrow I'm re- or the side of your eye. I'm really frustrated. Underneath of your eye, I cannot believe how frustrated I am right now. Underneath of your nose, I cannot believe how frustrated I am right now. On the chin, I'm really frustrated right now. On your collarbone and that soft tissue part right here, I'm really frustrated right now. Underneath of your arm, ladies, where your underwear sits is a really good place. I cannot believe how frustrated I am right now. And on the top of your head, I'm really frustrated right now. And you keep going through that until you figure out what it is that's bothering you. So maybe it's a fight you have with your boss, right? So then, aha, That's what I need to be tapping on is the fight I had with my boss. So then I'm going to go through, I'm going to just talk about it. Just act as if you picked up the phone and called your best friend to tell her all about it. So my boss and I had this horrible fight today. It was over a wrong email that was sent. I couldn't believe that I sent that email. 
He started yelling at me because I had made the mistake. It made me feel so upset in my stomach. He just kept yelling at me. I had no idea what I was going to do. My stomach was so upset, I just wanted to run. Just as if you're talking to your best friend about it. That's it. That's all the words that you need. And so once you start to feel better, so it's always important before you start tapping to scale it on a zero to 10. Zero is you don't have any emotional attachment to it. 10 is it's affecting your everyday life. So scale it on a one or zero to 10. And when you start to do a few rounds, check in with yourself. Like, am I feeling as bad about this as I thought I was? And chances are, It's going to reduce an anxiety level, sadness level, frustration level, depression level, whatever it is. If it were to go up, that's a signal that there's something deeper you need to tap on. So sometimes it can get worse before it gets better, but just hang on because it is working. It's got to pull those roots out. And sometimes that can get a little bit crazy before it settles down. So just keep tapping through that. So I really encourage you to tap through that. Tapping and essential oils is a match made in heaven. When we can use tapping to process through what we need to process through, it is like the whole world (laughs) opens up for you because there is nothing that you can't tap on. We're talking blocks in your business, in your life. We're talking weight loss. We're talking past traumas. We're talking chronic pain. You name it, tapping can help with it. So again, just keep it super simple when you're tapping. Tapping on that, scale it from a zero to 10. Tapping on your karate chop point three times with your setup statement and then tapping through the points until you feel better. Once you feel better, if you are called to tap in something affirming, go ahead and do that. Same process, just do the tapping. The words are simply to keep the issue in front of you so that your mind doesn't wander all over the place. So anyway, I just wanted to get with you real fast because so many of you, so many of my friends, so many of you are using Yarrow Palm and I want you to continue to use Yarrow Palm because there is no sense in putting it off until you feel like you can handle it or backing off your dosage and prolonging it. Let's just tap through it, process through it, and move on with our life. That is the best advice I can give you. I hope this video finds you well, and I will be talking to you very soon. And if you wanna know more about tapping, check out my YouTube channel, The Emotion Coach, and I will be posting a ton of videos there coming up. I would love for you to share it, and uh, let your friends know, because this can be really helpful. I'll talk to you soon.